Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna create a full face of makeup look using only Inside Cosmetics. You guys have requested a lot on my videos to try out Inside Cosmetics makeup products. So I really wanted to give this brand a try and test out their products. This is the look that I came up with using only Inside Cosmetics. Inside Cosmetics have really, really affordable products with them. All of the products that I'm trying in today's video are under 250 rupees, which is so cool. So so if you want to know how all of these products from Inside Cosmetics perform and how I created this look using them, then please do continue watching. So I'm going to start off with a clean face. I use my Dermavive Hydra Cleanser to get rid of any dirt, impurities and oil away from the skin and it is ready to go and get prepped for the base makeup for which I'm going to take my uh, Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which is such a good um, moisturizer which also hydrates and moisturizes your skin and also it acts as a primer underneath your makeup and I absolutely love this before applying my makeup so first I'm gonna start by filling in my eyebrows this is the um, eyebrow pencil from them in the shade brown it has two ends one has a spoolie and the other one has the actual pencil I'm using the spoolie side to first comb through my brows and then gonna use the pencil to fill in my eyebrows this is such a good product for being so inexpensive it is quite well pigmented so a little bit goes a long long way then I took this um, 2x cover master concealer I bought three of these concealers and all of the concealer applicator wands were broken so I couldn't really uh, use them properly and it was such a disappointment I was very much excited to use these concealers but that's what happened then what I did was I took this concealer wheel from them which has a color corrector as well as different shades of concealer in it so I took a lighter shade of concealer and just applied that on top of the other concealer that I just laid out on the eyes and also cleaned up under the uh, bottom area of my eyelids and blended it out and this is just going to create a base uh, for my eyeshadow work to go on. Once I have done that, I'm going to take this liquid lipstick from them. This is their non-transfer liquid lipstick in the shade Joyful, which is such a pretty warm brown shade. Uh, since they do not have any matte eyeshadow with them, so I went ahead with this liquid lipstick as a matte base. So I just applied them all over the eyelids and then blended it out using my uh, dome shade eyeshadow brush. Honestly, I was expecting this color to go all patchy over the eyelids, but it was so buttery smooth. It blended so beautifully on the eyes. I was very much surprised to see that. So yeah, I just uh, laid down that matte base. And then for eyeshadow, I took this Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is the only eyeshadow palette that Inside Cosmetics has at the moment. And all of these eyeshadows are shimmery. So that is why I use the liquid lipstick as a base. I took this beautiful reddish coppery shimmer eyeshadow and applied that on top of the eyelids under the crease and of course not going all the way to the outer corners and it was such a beautiful uh, satiny shimmer eyeshadow. On top of that I'm just going to use this beautiful foiled um, eyeshadow topper kind of a shade and just pop that right on the center of the eyelids. It has beautiful sparkly glitter on this it works very well as an eyeshadow topper on top of any eyeshadow then to deepen up the outer corner of course i wanted a matte color so i took this um, another non-transfer liquid lipstick from them in the shade 19 which is beautiful plummy toned uh, liquid lipstick and applied that to the very outer v and blended it out using a tapered brush Uh, I also used this Metalist eyeshadow uh, thing. This is basically like a glitter liquid eyeshadow in a very beautiful light pink shade. This is called Buzz and just pop them on the center of my eyelids to bring more uh, metallicness and sparkliness to my eyes. And this was also a very nice product. It has a beautiful satiny base to it and also it has very very beautiful shiny glitter particles in it which makes it sparkly on the eyes and blend it very nicely. Then I took their pore primer which is such a cult favorite and oh my god I absolutely love this product. It just fills in all of your pores and creates such a beautiful smooth even canvas underneath your makeup. It is 
easily comparable to any high-end primers that is available in the market. Then to color correct, I'm using this uh, orange color corrector from the concealer wheel that I used earlier. So I'm just applying that on the hyperpigmentation around my mouth, on my dark circles and on top of my acne spots. Honestly, this concealer wheel is a very, very beautiful concealer palette. I generally do not like these kind of concealer palettes, but this one was so good. Concealer wheel and not concealer palette because generally they are way too creamy for my liking, but this consistency was so good. Then for foundation, I'm using this uh, HD foundation high coverage dewy finish foundation from them which is such a mouthful by the way but this is a recent launch from inside cosmetics i'm in the shade mn35 i honestly wasn't expecting this foundation to match me either but it worked so well it's a very very close match not an exact match but still a very good match so I just applied the foundation all over the face using my buffing brush and as you can see the foundation is so beautiful on the skin. It's a very very smooth flawless finish foundation and the shade is also pretty good I would say and it is very very hard for me to find an affordable brand. So this was such a good surprise. Again I went in with my uh, concealer wheel, took a lighter shade of concealer to highlight and conceal and blending it out using my concealer blending brush. Uh, usually these kind of concealer wheels are way too creamy for my liking but this one wasn't. This had the perfect kind of consistency that I like on my oily skin particularly uh, because if the concealer is too creamy, it would fade out and melt out from my skin faster, but this one wasn't, so it is really long lasting as well on the skin. Then to contour my face, I'm using this Duo 2-in-1 stick in the shade 02, I guess. So it has a contouring uh, stick on one side and a shimmery highlighter on the other side. So I took the uh, cream contour and applied that to the hollows of the cheeks, the perimeters of my forehead, my jawline, and also on the sides of the nose and around my mouth area to add a beautiful contour on my thin lips. So then to blend it out, I'm using a tiny little buffing brush to blend everything in upward strokes. This is also a very, very beautiful product, I would say. It's not extremely creamy, just the right consistency for a contouring stick to work across skin types and such good pigmentation it blends really nicely on the skin. I absolutely loved it. I'm applying a little bit of the shimmer highlighter just to show you guys how it looks on my skin tone because I have another highlighter that is going to come up which is this spot highlighter and it is so beautiful i bought this in a golden shade and it blends like butter on the skin which is so finely milled looks beautiful across skin tones and yeah i just fell in love with this product as well so i'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones the center of my nose uh, the cupid's bow the chin and also to highlight the inner corners and my brow bone on the eyes uh, since inside cosmetics does not have any blusher uh, at the moment so i took the same liquid lipstick in a plum shade and applied it as a blush on the cheeks and again it went pretty smoothly on the cheeks to set my base makeup i took this hd uh, loose powder in the shade 13 honey uh, this was quite yellow for my liking i honestly like yellow toned um loose powders but this was way too yellow that it kind of looks like i have applied turmeric on my face but after a while i noticed that this kind of adjusted with the whole uh, makeup and did not look that yellow by the end so it was fine as well it's not bad again i took the uh, same plummy liquid lipstick and applied that to my lower lash line and just smudged it out to complete the eye makeup and again once the uh, eyeshadow work is done i'm just gonna brush off the excessive powder that was baking and setting the rest of the face as well using the same loose powder and it did quite a good job in setting and controlling the oil then i took this beautiful pen type eyeliner i think this is called their express uh, matte pen eyeliner and it is such a beautiful affordable eyeliner you guys just pick this up without any doubt it is very very beautiful extremely pigmented jet black goes on smoothly the tip is so nice i absolutely loved it to create my winged eyeliner then for the lips first i took this beautiful lip liner uh, this is in a very beautiful plum shade and the number is 01 uh, so i just applied that to overdraw and outline my lips and 
as you can see it has got such good pigmentation and the consistency is also really really nice if your lips are prepped properly then for lipstick i took this matte ink liquid lipstick in the shade luxurious which is such a pretty beautiful plum liquid lipstick color for dusky complexions and it was so smooth on the lips very very comfortable extremely lightweight i just loved it everything about all the liquid lipsticks that i use in today's video and just to demonstrate the other liquid lipstick i took the shade joyful from their non transfer liquid lipstick range which is the shade that i used on my eyelids the brown one and just popped it right on the center to create a soft and subtle ombre effect on the lips and this was also a very nice pigmented smooth and extremely comfortable as well and these are very very long lasting too then to set my entire base makeup in place i'm using their uh fixing spray which did a good job i would say it was not too bad not too impressive but overall it is a decent setting spray on a budget and and i really loved how it melted my skin into one and just held my makeup in place and nothing bashed So yeah this is the finished makeup look using all Insight Cosmetics makeup products. I went in for a little bit of an Indian uh kind of a makeup look because it is an Indian brand so why not? So yeah this is the look and honestly as you can see it doesn't even look like I have used uh such affordable products. I mean everything uh that I used in today's video was under 250 rupees but everything came out so beautiful by the end. So you guys that was my finished one brand makeup tutorial using only Insight Cosmetics. I've gotten a lot of requests on my channel to try out this particular brand so I really wanted to try it out myself as well and I would just say one thing that I'm completely impressed with Insight Cosmetics. All of the products that I tried were under 250 rupees and they performed so well. Of course except for these 2x cover master concealer I really could not I uh, used any of these concealers properly on myself because of the wand situation just like you saw in the video but other than that the rest of the products that I used in today's video were all so good it is very very hard for me to find a foundation match in affordable foundations and i'm very glad that they have a shade for dusky complexions the shade is very very close it's just slightly lighter which still is not bad because some of the affordable brands do not even have a shade range for dusky complexions which is so terrible i really wish and hope that inside cosmetics bring more dusky and deeper foundation shades and base makeup products for dusky and deeper indian skin tones apart from the shade I really love the formula and the finish of this foundation. It's a very very beautiful flawless uh, kind of a foundation. I'm just loving how my entire makeup look looks today right from the eyes to the finish of the base makeup, the lipstick, everything is so good. If you have already tried products from Insight Cosmetics, let me know what are your favorite products in the comment section. If you haven't tried them yet, let me know what you would like to pick. from this particular brand that you saw in this video and leave them in the comment section again i would love to know your thoughts on them all the products that i use in today's video will be mentioned in the description box i really hope that you guys found this video useful helpful and enjoyed watching it if you did you know what to do give it a big thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure you hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel Also follow me on my Instagram I do post a lot of my makeup pictures and a lot of content there as well so I'll put the link in the description box This is it take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one bye